Connolly from the regional district. Here we go. Hi, I'm Carla Connolly. I'm a planner with the Alberni Clayquot Regional District. And the planning department, we're trying to do our part to promote sustainability by reviewing our existing official community plans. These are documents, and I'm not sure how familiar you are with the official community plans, but they are for all the outlying areas in the Alberni Valley specifically we're dealing with right now. So those include the areas of Beaufort, Beaver Creek, Cherry Creek, and Spro Lake. And these are documents that contain policies and proposals that relate to land use. Specifically, um, they contain policies related to residential, commercial, industrial, parks and recreation um, uses within the areas. And we are updating these existing documents that were created either in the late 90s or early 2000s. So those four areas were done and we're looking at them all as one to try to create a cohesive plan for the Alberni Valley so that they all, why, while they may not be identical, will be somewhat similar so that there is that cohesiveness throughout the, the valley. And uh, we are doing that. You may have seen our placards on the road while you're driving by out to the areas when we hold our open houses. Excuse me. Um, we're dealing with the communities um, through public open houses that are open to everybody um, and as well as working with the advisory planning commissions specifically in those areas to update the documents to make sure that they meet the needs of today's residents. So some of them were actually created in the early 90s or sorry late 90s where the needs and wants of the community members at that time may not be applicable to the members that are currently residing there right now. So we're just trying to do our part and an example of where we're introducing some sustainability principles is through string or, or conservation subdivision and I'm not sure if you're familiar with that term but we're basically encouraging developers to when they develop their parcels of land if they have let's say five acres to concentrate the development in a certain part of the lot instead of just parceling it up into one acre parcels maybe cluster it into the you know, one side or one half of that while preserving some of the uh, natural area or green space. And as a bonus to encourage developers to do that, we are giving them additional density bonuses, which is something new that we haven't done in the area. I know they encourage it on the West Coast, but it's not done in the Alberni Valley. So we're trying to incorporate that into the plans of the Alberni Valley. And, and that's one way that the regional district is trying to encourage sustainability initiatives within the Alberni Valley. So that's just a brief overview of what we're doing in the planning department just by reviewing the official community plan. So if at, you know, after every, the speakers are all gone through, if you have any specific questions, come see me because I can talk for hours about rural plans. So I don't want to put you to sleep. Thanks. <laughs> Is Jack McClemmon still here? Good. If you could say a few words on behalf of the Pacific Rim Health Corps. Not Carol Hansen. Thank you. Um, just briefly, uh, after I got here, I found out that the Pacific Rim Health Services Co op was supposed to talk, but we didn't have anybody coming. So, um, as far as sustainability goes, uh, I believe if we don't have medical uh, practitioners, enough of them for the population, you don't have sustainability, people can't stay. So that is um, what we're doing at Pacific Rim Health Services Co-op. We have brought in six or seven doctors into town, four have stayed. We're hoping to get more. The past year hasn't been as good. And uh, that's about what we're doing. We're down at Elizabeth Street Co-op, the Elizabeth Street Clinic, pardon me. And the city has uh, been very supportive. They provided the building. We worked on it, got it all fixed up nice, and hopefully we can keep doing what we're doing, but it's always a lot of challenges. So thank you very much, and apologize for not being Carol.